Live from Acadiana, your local news leader, this is KLFY News 10 Morning Rush. The time is now 6.57. Let's get you caught up on today's top stories as you head out the door with a News 10 Morning Rush. Good morning, Acadiana. I'm News 10's Rodrika Taylor. The Lafayette Sheriff's Office is actively still searching for an inmate who escaped from Oshner Lafayette General Medical Center Monday evening. Good morning, Acadiana. I'm News 10's Jasmine Dean. In Crowley, things are heating up as a candidate running for council has been charged with child neglect. One of Ward 3 District A's council candidates is currently in a court battle where allegations of child neglect are at the forefront. As it gets closer to election day, candidate Christopher George Sr. says this is an attempt to knock him down. Good morning, Acadiana. This is Zane Hogue. Healthcare professionals and law enforcement officials across Acadiana are raising awareness for the drug known as Kratom. The FBI is combing through a manifesto written by the man who police say shot and killed two people at a St. Louis high school on Monday. Investigators say the death toll could have been much higher. Early voting is underway in Louisiana. Voters can now cast their ballot daily from 8.30 a.m. to 6 p.m. through November 1st, excluding Sunday, October 30th. There's what we're expecting today, a lot better weather than yesterday morning. As we are colder, though, you will want those heavier coats on. Temperatures mid to upper 40s for the afternoon. We top out near 76 with a mostly sunny sky. Very mild, very comfortable, a really nice day ahead of us. Just have to get through some colder temperatures over the next few hours. Yeah, it's chilly out there right now. I know I was bundled up this morning. Definitely. You. Yeah, yeah, it definitely <laughs> caught me off guard this morning. Uh, no, we were expecting it, but uh, yeah, it's definitely going to warm up later this day, of course. Gerald Grunig talking all things Acadia and Eats Festival happening Saturday. There's also a, what, artisan market yes, happening? Yes, that's actually happening in the first week of November. First okay. week of November, but definitely this weekend, the Acadia and Eats Festival. All right, we'll be there. Thanks for joining us here on Pospot 2. See you at noon. Bye.